Hey guys, welcome back to another Tie Tuesday with Avid Max. My name is Kai, and today we're going to be whipping up a real uh, quick and simple pattern. I've always known it as just a CDC all of a merger. May have more of an official name, but that's what we'll refer to it as. So we'll go ahead and get going. Um, in the vise, I'm going to put the Arex FW511. Uh, it's basically just a little curved shank dry fly hook. They do make uh, the same same hook with a barb or the TMC 101 as another hook I like to use for this. Uh, so we'll get that secure and go ahead and get started with the thread. I'm using UTC Olive 70 denier. Um, I like using the olive thread. Makes it a little bit cleaner but you could definitely get away with black or white. So we'll just lay down a thin thin little start there. For our thread, just cover the hook up, um, and then this flies basically two ingredients from here. Um, we're going to use a little bit of CDC, just in some natural done today. Um, this is going to be the tail, or kind of the tail shuck of our emerging olive pattern. So we'll go ahead and clean it up a little, and then sort of comb it towards the back, leaving a little tuft of CDC, and we're going to tie it in with a few wraps. I really love fishing this fly um, under a dry fly as an emerger very near or in the film, surface film. Uh, super effective that way to kind of more picky fish or even beginning end of the hatch when a lot of bugs are starting to emerge and rise up or uh, at the end when there's even some just kind of stuck in the film that haven't fully hatched. It can be really effective. Uh, I like to put on a small parachute or something in front of it, something I can see that's not going to be too overwhelming and aggressive for the fish and then kind of pin this only 8-10 inches behind it and it's going to ride real high, um, totally in that surface film, um, attract a lot of eats. You can also drown it too, of course, you know, fish it down with the pats, rubber legs and a caddis or something, get it down towards the bottom and that emerging uh, from, the CNC, from the CDC and uh, the weightless fly is still gonna rise up, get a lot of eats, so. Uh, the dubbing today, we're using the Semperfly Capoke dubbing. Uh, it's very, very fine dubbing, and they say it actually has some properties um, that make it float, so it's gonna float a lot better than like your hairline super fine dubbing. Uh, I think it's like 30, 40% of the weight, its own weight it can hold, so. Um, a really good dubbing to use on dry flies, and then emergers too, it's gonna help pull them up from the bottom or into the film, however you want to fish them. We're using the BWO color today and I uh, get a pretty tight noodle on there. This stuff is pretty easy um, to get a real tight noodle. Usually don't need any dubbing wax or anything. Um, pretty good stuff to work with. So make that pretty long with the goal to go all the way up to where we tie in our wing. Bring our dubbing up to almost just behind the hook and then we'll grab one more little bit of CDC here. Um, and we're going to do the same thing we did on the tail, but this one we want to either select a feather that's got a little bit more fluff on it or peel a little less fluff off. So the wing here, you're going to want to go all the way to at least the tail, um, if not a little further. Typically these bugs have much longer wings than uh, a lot of patterns represent. Uh, wings often are a lot longer than the body even. So we want those to be pretty obvious. Go ahead and get our CDC secured and trim out the excess. And we'll just clean this up a bit. Take it back there. And then we're gonna take just a tiny bit more of that BWO dubbing. a nice tight clean noodle on the front and then we'll 
give it a quick way of finish to finish it off. So there you have it, super quick, simple fly, um, not many ingredients needed, definitely going to catch a couple grabs. So thanks a lot guys.